Okay. Okay. Um, thank you very much. Like I said, I'm not going to spend much time here. My tax is very simple. The first tax is just to uh, take you to the UN site. I'm not going to go through all the process because of time, but I think if I can take you to the site and you have the link to register, you can do that on your own. Yeah, you can do that on your own. You don't really need anybody to do that for you. Uh, don't make the mistake of getting people to get a job for you with UN, UN volunteers, bring some money. Please just, just keep all that aside and work for yourself. Now I'm going to take you to the site. You see how you need to either register to come back or you register uh, uh, maybe as a returnee to the site. And that's all. So the next thing is just have to go to the site and browse it, do everything you need to do and all that. Yeah. And after that, we'll be going to the African Union website and you will see what the agenda 2063 is all about, uh, yeah. And then once you see it, you can uh, start keying into the project. It's a massive African project that is intended to turn Africa into a paradise in 2063, if not a paradise, into an advanced uh, society for everybody to live. So you need to be part of it. You need to promote it. You need to let everybody know your school, your homes, your church, your mosque, everywhere. So you are going to do your part. And the last time we did this, we if I we don't we did, never took any permission from AU to do it. We did it, mm -hmm. and then we sent our report to the African Union Nigerian representative. He was mm -hmm. so excited. He was so happy. He was like, "Wow, this is beautiful." And then, I mean, it, it's something that was exciting. So exciting to know that everybody's contact, phone number, email, everything were also packaged in the report, at least as a sign or an evidence that something happened. And who knows, they might want to call to say, oh, wow, thank you for doing this for us. We can never tell. But it also goes down into your CV in form of a certificate that you actually volunteered for this course. So, the policy you're caught. We've given you the key. Like somebody said yesterday, whatever you do with the key is now yours. So we have to move ahead. Thank you. Um, let's go straight to the. Um, okay. Oh, I think. It is the United Nations uh, site. Like we, 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 we saw today, you can volunteer in-house and outside. You can volunteer as a, at the local level, which is national level, or volunteer abroad, whichever one you want to do. Yeah. So you have so much you can get here from this information. You get the link. We are not going to go beyond this place, but I just need to explain certain things for you here. Now, this is U, 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 UVP login. Now, there's something you need to understand. When you click on this link, opens and brings oh, you. Oh, it's a laptop, really. Yeah, it brings you here. And when, once it brings you here, you either have the choice of logging in or log out. But before then, you see a lot of job openings. You can search and use the filter. You want to, you want to do online on all sites. OK, let's volunteer online. Then uh, title of the job, uh, maybe say uh, uh, data entry. Entry, I hope I'm right. No. And please put off your mic. Put off your mic. Uh, let's put um, Afghanistan. Then uh, Asia. I think I have to. Everybody.
then um, host country, I don't know, host entity, sorry, language, maybe English. You have English here. This, this is all you, what you should be doing. You should be doing all this research yourself and apply filters. None, they couldn't get any for me. So when you come here, please just take a time to look for countries like, um, like let's say uh, Brazil. Let's try Brazil will work. Let's try Brazil. No. Okay. So please, you can just uh, do this yourself. Just come and search for jobs. That was what I was just trying to do. So I use the filters. I couldn't get any here. But there are jobs that you can actually get. Just make it general so that, um, yeah. Make it general. And... Okay. And reset it. When you reset it, uh, you see jobs. This is a job in Kenya. This is Lebanon, United States of America. So these are jobs you can apply for so many as a volunteer. Well, that is not where I want to go to, but I just want to let you know that these things are there. The next thing, because if you click on this job, for instance, program assistant, Nairobi. They bring you here to apply. It's a job description. All you need to do 12 months, number of assignment one, blah, 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 all this. If you click, sorry, I wanted to show you something. If you come here to apply, click. Yeah, I click on apply. It will still bring you here. And here you have to either sign up or sign in. So it is always better to do the first thing first. Don't go straight to business. Now, what I normally advise people to do is that when you come to a site for the first time, you are advised to, you are advised to please, uh, first of all, navigate the site, see every part of the site and whatever. Belo Olotu, you said there's no uh, audio, please check your audio from your end. Yeah, check your audio from your end. Okay. Okay, so um, when you navigate through the site, it helps you to know exactly where to get what you need to get when you start actually using the site. And that is what we are trying to do. I'm trying to exercise you to do. So now we are here. We also come to login because you just have to create your account. And you told you yesterday that whenever you go online to a site you've never used before, the first thing you do is to create an account. So we say create an account, like here you say sign up because we are coming for the first time. So we say register and whatever. You see, it's bringing us back here again. You must do this tax first. And if you want to sign in, you want to sign up. I think every question should hold, stop for now. Just concentrate on what I'm doing. Then after this, you can ask a question. I will answer them briefly. So when you come here, you sign up, just put your, sign in with your existing account means that you already have an account, but now it's a Zoom, we don't have an account. Just click on sign up. Okay. You put your email, maybe this, send verification. Yeah, so they will send you a verification code. You go there and you enter all your details here. I think it's very simple, very straightforward. This, I, I, I don't, I hope nobody will call to say, ah, I was trying to register, I couldn't get it, I couldn't get that, no. Please, just follow the steps they are showing you. Yeah, very, very simple. Now, let me go back. I think I have an account already. 
that that is just basically what we need to do here. We're not going to do more than this. So when you sign it, please go through any part of the site. You are not paying it. Then nobody's asking you to pay any money. Feel free, just burn your data and bury yourself in this site for three, four days or even a week. And when you come back and come out of it, you become a whole new person, bubbling with information and bubbling with uh, 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 optimism because you have so much information now at your fingertips to do what you've never done before. So with this, you should know that you now have the direct access to have your profile on United Nations volunteer site and be hopeful that you can get a job with them. Yeah. Okay, that is that about uh, United Nations volunteer. Okay. Thank you briefly. Uh, welcome back. I want to believe that uh, I can see a lot of hands up. The questions will be much, but let's try and see what we can do. Please, you are just logging in. Ugu Joseph, okay, welcome. You say, Ebola, please, I'm not hearing anything. Ah, you have to check your audio. Don't worry, when you get the recorded version, you can listen to it again. It's like network is not favorable to me. Well, it happens like that sometimes. Um, I want to ask about creating an account on Disaster Ready. That was yesterday. Can I use my existing email address or do I have to create a new one? You, can, you have to use your existing email address. I have a question. I noticed, I've noticed that when I try to apply for international jobs like UN, they will ask you to contact your country office. When I send a message to Abuja or Lagos, what do you do? No response. Probably you are applying for internally advertised jobs. Yes, go to the UN site, make sure, just like United Nations volunteer, make sure on the UN site, you create your profile. Very, very important. But if you just see advert and you say you want to just advertise, be ready for a very long walk. But this is direct. Once they, they think they need you and you meet their criteria, they'll call you. I always try to update your profile. Yes, yeah, very important. Okay. Uh, I think there's no more. There's no age limits to the best of my knowledge. Please feel free to, uh, to apply. If somebody's applying online, for instance, even if you are 90 years old, who cares as long as you can do the job? Yeah. So there's no age limit. Sometimes when we just see a volunteer, you think it's for young people. No. Okay. Mr. Akinade, you better go and put on your shirt because uh, you are right in front of the whole world. I know the weather is hot. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. Um, I'll just take these questions from just these five persons. Please, when you ask your question, go straight to the point. Ask your question and that's all. Okay, Tola. You have a question to ask? Paul Kuyoro, you are just jogging in. Welcome. <laughs> yes. Okay. I think Tola is not uh, ready to talk to us. Let's move to the next person. Um, Bankole JB, over to you. Griselda Abu, the job is both virtual and fiscal. We announced it there. You can you can work online or offline. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, is it possible for someone that has been working? If it's what? Hello? You say what? Is it possible for someone that has been working? Is it possible for someone that has been working with government to just apply for any volunteer job? Anyway, they are not even bothered about where you work or where you've been working. All they are interested in is that you have the experience, you have the skill, you have the competence, and you have the qualification. That's all. So it's not left for you whether you want to continue working with government or you want to leave government and join as a volunteer. The choice is now yours. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yes, volunteers are paid. Yes, volunteers are paid. Okay. Um, 
in 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 Kem Dilim. In Kem Dilim. Oh, your voice is cracking. Just send. Up. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I want to ask. Okay, I want to ask a question. Okay. Assuming you want to get a volunteer work of physical, mm. and uh, you have to relocate, do they allow relocating with families, like someone who has children? Yeah. I, yes. I think there's a provision for that. I'm not too sure, but there's a provision for that. I'm, I think there's something on that document that says that. I just want to be very sure, but that question is very specific. But just go take your time and go through the material we sent this evening for families. Okay, please. Secondly, eh? yeah. I when I, when we were reading through the WhatsApp messages, mm. they said you must you must know English, French, or Spanish language. I don't know. Yeah, you must know one international language, which. Wow. Uh, which is any of this language. English is an international language and it's used by the UN. But you have an advantage, further advantage if you can speak French or any of these other international languages. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oluwaseun, over to you. Okay, Oluwaseun is not here. Good evening, sir. I just want to commend your effort and your time. Thank you very much. Good evening, sir. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. That, that, that's just it. I just want to commend your effort, your time, you. everything, you. the way you are putting us through. Thank you. It's, it's not an easy task, but um, yes, <laughs> people of your caliber, they are very rare. Thank you. And uh, I sincerely want to tell you Thank that um, Thank you so much for your time. God bless Thank you. you for taking time to explain to us Thank in you. detail. Thank you. Out of your tight schedule, you still have time to explain in detail. Thank you Thank so you. much. Yeah, God bless you. I appreciate it. Thank you. At least you are not like Isiaka Mohammed that is eating alone without inviting anybody. <laughs> eh? Isiaka, why are you hiding your food? Okay, let's move on. Olu, Olu Bukola. Okay, yeah. Good evening, sir, and thanks for your <laughs> for your effort, sir. Good evening, man. So grateful. Uh, so I just want to um uh, to I just want you to explain for that the offline uh, application. The okay. on yeah, the, I just want to know more about that offline application. Does it mean? Does it mean I don't I don't really understand that area, sir? And you just throw more uh, light. What it means is that if you are employed, you work, you work virtually. Right now, both of us are talking, we are interacting virtually. Okay. You understand me? So I've been teaching you for some time. You've never met me. I'm sure you don't even know where I am. But assuming I'm working with uh, the UN volunteers, I'm currently volunteering. I'm already working by teaching you and you understanding and getting knowledge. So that is what you two can do. The social media, if, sometimes they advertise especially for virtual volunteers and your job is just to create awareness in the community or in the country. That is what they just need you to do. And they just employ you for that. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. So it means you. you need to know how to use the internet very well, social media and all this. So nothing is useless. Everything you see people doing, please go ahead and do it as long as it's good. Thank you, madam. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. I have so many people raising their hands here, but we have to move ahead soon. Uh, Nasir Bello. Nasir Bello, are you here with us? I'm here with you. Good evening, sir. Okay. Good evening. Sir, so, I saw my question is I saw age limit of for that volunteering, which is 22, 25. How I can I want you to explain that? What do you mean by age limit? Yes, some are above 25, and that age limit I, it should be 22, should be 25. No, is it necessary or something? No. Just, a, that, that, that is written in a contest. Please go and read that part very well. Voluntary doesn't have age limits, okay, sir. Yes, as long as you are above, above 18. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's my own question. Okay, thank you. 
So, so now you can volunteer. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, Isiaka, have you finished eating? What is your question? Um, my question is that what about a situation whereby you study something that has to do with laboratory work or research work? Can you get a job or volunteer job that has to do with research, laboratory related research? In fact, for example, I study chemistry. You can volunteer as even a driver. Wow. Yes. In case you don't know, you can volunteer as a driver, you can volunteer as Whatever, as long as it is advertised, you can volunteer for anything that is useful to the society. So your own is even very, very high. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Um, wow. What do I call now? Okay. There's so many hands here. Frank Ode. Frank Ode. Yeah, yes, yes, you, you have answered my question. Oh, very good, very good. Thank you very much. You have answered my question. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. That's all. Okay. Um, how do we get the website of all these volunteer jobs? I've been trying to apply, but can't get any. I will give you the website to United Nations Volunteers. I will give you their website so that you can go there. I don't work with them. I'm just like you too. The difference is that I've been able to bury myself on the on their system and get so much information and that's what i'm giving you i'm grateful okay thank you thank you patience Uwoko. Iwu Eme. thank you for this wonderful thank you sir i met yeah, yeah i mean nigerian living in liberia is it possible for me to work as internal volunteer in liberia if need arises well uh, the definition of internal volunteer is uh I think it's, it's referring to citizens of a particular country. So, and I know that UN is a very thorough organization that will follow the rules of a game. So if you are not a citizen, definitely you don't meet the criteria to, to work as an internal volunteer. Very likely you might apply as a volunteering abroad, uh, for volunteering abroad, because you're actually abroad. You have a passport from Nigeria, you're in Nigeria. So, I hope that answers your question. Okay. Thank you, uh, ba ba Bakari Bashi. Thank you. Oh, can doctors and nurses volunteer? You are even needed most. Thank you. Uh, Clotes Aligua. His name, I don't understand. Clotes. Anyway, Suleiman Rabiu, is it when they place advert that you apply? No, but I showed you on the site. Please watch this video once you download it that you can just go to their site and look for advert every time. Don't wait until the adverts are placed. Most times some of these adverts are actually fraudulent. So please, can my children get volunteer abroad jobs? Let's let them come here, give them this video to watch and let them apply and put their profile there. Then they can apply or they can be called up. Thank you, uh, Coach Rashid. Thank you. Good evening. I joined the meeting late, but please, can you run through the procedure for applying again, ah, Margaret Oko, that is not possible. People here will sue me uh, for wasting their time. <laughs> so what you do is that when I download this video and put it in your class, just go and watch it. It's as good as starting from beginning. And every single thing you missed will be brought back to you. Okay? Yeah, thank you. I am thinking of volunteering in line with mental health. Excellent. Just put it there. You, if you have the certificate in mental health, better you put it there. To help you a lot. In fact, I'm sure there will be so much roles for mental health experts to volunteer. Don't worry. What I will do, I will. I think I will do a special research on that. And once I find it, I will just send it to everybody to go and apply. Thanks for what you've done. However, is it mandatory to have a certificate in international volunteering? No, it's not mandatory. It's not mandatory, but it will help you. Yeah, HSC can apply. Please, if I tell you that a driver a qualified driver with a certificate of driving can apply. Then it means any other course you've done, you can apply. Social media, mass communication, just, just name it. You can apply. There are a lot of roles for you. Okay. Global Talent Pool is where you apply with your profile and put all your details, and it will be pulled with a lot of talents from all over the world. 
in that area you have applied for. So once it is time, they will search for people that are most qualified. That is why you need to keep updating yourself. Yeah. I will give you the website for Milayo when it's time. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you call your WhatsApp number again? Uh, please, I will call it after this program. How do we know the, the difference between the fraudulent <laughs> job advert and the genuine UN? Well, I think I don't know how to answer that question. Uh, MB Ekanem. I don't know how to answer the question. The only thing I can tell you is that if I send you this website, go and save it somewhere. Anytime you need a job with United Nations volunteer, just go there and search for Nigeria, jobs in Nigeria or jobs in any country you want to volunteer for. You can be rest assured that if it is from there that is coming, then you are home and you are secured. I will show you another side very soon. Okay, excellent. Go to the Usia. Okay, okay, you've posted the link here. That's good. This link might not work because it's joining the program, so you have to separate it. All the same, I'll send it to the class, so don't worry. Okay. Oh. Thank you, Gift Udeji, for your next train. Can you also find how to get international grant for some? No, I don't, I don't get engaged with all those kind of things, getting international grants for SMEs. I don't do that. Please go and look for the grant if you need grants. For me, I don't think we should be we should be the ones giving out. We have more than enough to give out. It's because we keep thinking we don't have. That's why we keep asking for grants. Please, please, please. Uh, I can show you. Go to disaster ready. We did disaster. We worked on disaster ready yesterday. You can see how to get grants here and even study grants writing and all these things to help you. Okay, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I think we've just section we have to go to the next session quickly before i get very very tired and before you start sleeping the next session we want to look at is uh yeah who can remind me wow so many messages here oh my god i can't even read all yeah okay let me let me see if i can answer one of those two Okay, there are too many for me to answer. So please just bear with me and then maybe we can, we can come back to some of these questions later or maybe in the class, we can post in the class, we answer. Let's move on before it gets too late. We are just going to look at agenda 2063 uh, briefly and why you need to volunteer for it if you like to volunteer. Yeah, okay, agenda 20. Okay, uh, the African Union, the Agenda 2016 is Africa's blueprint and master plan for transforming Africa into the global powerhouse of the future. It is a continent's strategic framework that aims to deliver on its goals for inclusive and sustainable development and, and is a concrete manifestation of the Pan-African drive for unity, self-determination, freedom, progress, and all that, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, these are the flagship prog programs. There are about, um, there are 15 of them. Now, I told you last time that when we volunteered on Telegram and um, we volunteered for Agenda 2063, we able to compile everybody's name that took part in that volunteer project. Apart from sending them, giving them certificates as digital ambassadors, we also gave them the benefit of their lists and names being sent to the AU. Please don't quote me. I'm not saying that once it is sent there, you get a job or I'm promising you anything. But the good thing is that your name has gone international. When they start calling names of people that promoted the African dream, the name will be there. In fact, when we submitted it, and we told the Nigerian ambassador to African Union, he was like, 
Wow. I can't believe that people are actually doing this for Africa. That's so far so good. The awareness is almost not too there. The awareness is not really there. People don't really know much about Agenda 2063. But over a thousand people volunteered for that project. And I can tell you that uh, thousands of people all over Africa and the world, because some persons from different countries were part of it, got to know about Agenda 2063. And the, the basis for the success of Agenda 2063 is the ability of people to be part and parcel of this dream, this vision, if they have a buy-in into it, if they understand what the vision is all about, and if they know that it is all about them, their future, and the future of their children. I think everybody will take it serious. So our part is just to create awareness. It's more like volunteering online this time around, virtually. Then number two, the second thing we'll be doing is that we want to engage a lot of young people, graduates, core members, to be able to teach online. We are going to train them for free, for three good days, solid training. They are going to learn how to use Google Drive, not the way you use Google Drive, just to save documents. They are going to learn how to use Google Drive to do much more, to do extra more. They are going to learn how to use Google Drive to even teach, to learn how to use WhatsApp to teach. They are going to learn how to use Telegram, they are going to learn how to use set up their Facebook pages and market courses for themselves. They are going to learn how to use Post Time My World to do their flyers, do their logo. They don't need to beg anybody. All this for free. And after that, they will be engaged. I can bet you that as soon as you start your practical, you start earning some money, even before you are ready to start working. You are not paying a dime for this training. Please take note. I think it's one training that you need to get your younger ones, everybody around you disturbing you for money, no job, Nigeria is difficult, this or that, or Africa is tough. Tell them to get engaged themselves and be part of this program. So you, when you volunteer for this, if you cannot do it because you don't want to do it because you have a good job, by sharing the post, by getting involved with the online volunteer program, you will be giving millions opportunity to jump at this and then be able to do it. You'll be opening doors for millions of people that you might never meet or for millions of people that might even know you one way or the other. So uh, tomorrow we'll be doing this. Tomorrow is Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Then on Sunday, we'll be giving everybody certificates. It's optional, it's, it's voluntary. They will give you a letter to say that you volunteered for the African Union Agenda 2063 course. The letter will also carry the fact that you, part of those that helped a lot of people to get jobs, online jobs, to be able to teach online digitally. And I can bet you that if they meet you anywhere tomorrow and they know you did that for them, they'll be very happy. So that is just that. And tomorrow is a D day. Get ready. All you just do is, when you come to the class, seven o'clock, we give you the assignment, click on the link, do what you're supposed to do, the instructions will be there. In less than five minutes, you are true, and that is over and out for that day. You send it the next day, Saturday, then on Sunday, you get your certificate. And we we'll have a big family because you are going to have your, your data, and once in a while, we'll be contacting you and talking to you about major and bigger opportunities coming. Thank you very much. Yeah, I somebody asked a question and said, um, okay, before I, I, I talk about that, somebody just asked if you're going to pay for the certificate. For this program, the volunteering and everything, please, you're not paying a dime for anything. You're not paying a dime. All the certificate, the letters you're getting, you're not paying a dime. Take note. Yeah. The only way you are paying and showing appreciation is just to volunteer and be part of uh, the progress of others. Okay. What is? Let me just say, but can you be in Nigeria and be working as a volunteer, as a volunteer in any other country you apply for outside Nigeria? I mean, online. Yes, we showed you 
how you can volunteer online and volunteer in your country. We've showed you those two. Then, please, sir, must someone be present before abroad? Abroad before volunteering? No. You can volunteer from Nigeria, and once they take you, they pay you all the allowances and everything, and you go. Can a retired soldier apply for volunteer service? Well, uh, I don't want to say yes or no. No, your case is different because uh, it involves uh, security. But I believe there must be a role for you. Please just go to that website and uh, click on the link and uh, try your hands out. I'm sure you'll get something for yourself. Will the profile being prepared be a summary of those of one's curriculum? Please just check. Go to the web. Go to the website. Put in your profile. You have a place where you key in everything. Yes, just key in everything. I think if you spend a week to go through this site, you will make up your mind on what you want to do and how to do it. Sincere appreciation for this training. Do I join late? I have been I have benefited from the download. Kindly let me know how to register for certified courses related to developing countries. The uh, whatever. Okay, Bola, Petru. You have to watch the video, the Zoom session yesterday. Please just go there. You see everything. Thank you very much. What an experience! You can't be a volunteer. You can't be a volunteer. I don't understand. What without experience? Okay, you can't be a volunteer. Well, I never said so, but you are better off with experience. You are better off with experience. So that is all. So let me not say you cannot volunteer before I cause heartache for some people here. But I think when you have experience, it's better off for you. But I strongly believe that even without experience, if they need you, you will actually be taken. So give it up. Yeah, thank you, Jose. Hey, you agenda. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. I think we've come to the end of this session. We shouldn't push further than this. I will try and upload the video. And once I upload it, I will send it to the class. And I also send a link for you to go and do your registration. Wherever you have a hitch, please go back and watch the video. One more thing, always do your things. Go online to search for information. And let me show you, for somebody that was asking how you get to know sites that are fake, I, I've already told you I'm going to send you the U, UMV site. So if you go there, you know you are, you are rest assured, you are home and dry. I want to show you something else. Uh, Relief web. Relief web. This Relief web. Yeah. So in Relief web, you can search for jobs and other things. You can see when you come here, just click on, for instance, Nigeria. This is not just for volunteers only. If you want read jobs, NGO jobs, UN jobs, all that, just come here and type Nigeria or whatever country. You can even, if you want to work in Afghanistan, just type Afghanistan and to come up where well, I know nobody wants to go to Afghanistan. But you can get good jobs there. You see, these are jobs in Nigeria. Just click here and uh, that's all. In fact, this one was announced on the 21st and we're closing on the 30th, which is just two days or so. So, Relief Web. Now, in case you don't know, let me show you something about Relief Web. Relief Web is a humanitarian information service provided by the United Nations Office for Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs. The service is managed by the Digital Service Section of OCHA Information Management Brand. I think with this one too, you cannot fall into the hand of any wrong person. If you fall into the hand of any wrong person, into the hands of any wrong person, it's because you want to do so, and you are looking for shortcut. But with this, I don't think you have any problem anymore. Just this two site alone is enough for you. Do you still need any other thing again? I don't think so. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, the recording will be posted in the class, please. Okay. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's over and out. You have to call it a day. It's good to see your faces. And um, I'm happy to know that uh, you are all doing great. Uh, we'll go back to the class where I will send the videos, the recorded video and the links for this night. Thank you very much and God bless you all.
Thank you.